This year, I'm planning on providing my students with opportunities to discuss and collaborate with each other online during class. It's a risky move that could lead to cyberbullying and other conflicts. At the same time, this age is crucial for kids to start developing empathy and other social skills. Here's my plan to use online activities to help increase empathy amongst my students. Number one, participate in online discussions. When I participate, I will model the social skills that I expect my students to show, especially when responding to students' posts. Number two, I will teach online social skills explicitly. In the same way that I teach content and other expected routines in the classroom. So this means creating opportunities to practice taking other people's perspectives when they're posting and commenting online, just like any other skill. It has to be practiced again and again and again. And number three, I'm going to hold my students accountable. It's important to set clear expectations and be consistent when it comes to online social skills, just like it is with face-to-face -face interactions in the classroom. That means every single time we are doing something that involves online discussions, I am reminding them of the expectation. It will be posted, they will know, and they will repeat it so that we cannot say, oh, I didn't know what was expected of me. It will be clear and I will hold them to it. My students are going to leave fourth grade this year ready to be positive citizens in an increasingly global community. And this is how I plan to do it.